In the name of Allah, the most precious and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And good morning to all our honorable head sir and our honorable internal and external members sir and our honorable supervisor sir. We are very happy and thankful to our different spot that we have been selected this beautiful day. Before I start my thesis topic, I wanted to introduce myself. My full name is Yahya Mahmoud Diria. My ID number is 1824728. I am one of the students of the Apollo International University, Department of Civil Engineering. My supervisor name is Mr. Mehdi Hassan Bouyan, sir, lecturer, Department of Civil Engineering, the Foreign International University. My thesis title or my thesis topic is Analyze of Multi-Story Building with and Without Floated Column Using ETAP Software. Okay. Outline is, what are the outlines that I wanted to recover this presentation is introduction, objectives, advantages and disadvantages of a floating column, building modeling, result and discussion, finally conclusion. Introduction. Floating column is a type of column which is constructed of a beam or slabs of any intermediate floors of a structure. This column is not attached to any footing and does not transfer the load directly to the foundation because it is constructed by the beam or a slab and the foundation starts from where? Keel. Floating columns are also known as hanging columns. Continue still my introduction. Uh, hang this picture or this uh, picture describes that the floating column as well as load transfer mechanism. As we all know, load transfer in normal building is usually from slab to beam to column and then foundation. But the floating column, instead of transferring the load to the foundation, it transfers the load to the beam. Okay, so now let's discuss this elevation view or this picture. As we can see this elevation view, there are three floating columns. This one, this one, as well as this one. Why we say? Because in the definition, I said that Following column is constructed by a beam or a slab. So <laughs> the load is transferred in the form of a bunt load because in this beam the floating column is transferred the load as a bunt load and this beam is too much critical when you are designing you need to take care what kind of load can take. The, load, uh, the column is transferred the load to the beam and that beam we say transverse beam as well as there are two main columns this one and this one why we say two main columns because it transferred the load to the foundation okay objective is what are the objectives of this study the main objective is of this study is to analyze of multi-story building with and without floating column using it software. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages of a floating column. Floating columns are mainly used to fulfill the architectural requirement of a structure. They are very useful when the lower floor has a large span hole having room on it, upper floor such as hotels. What are the disadvantages of a floating column? The primary disadvantage of a floating column is that it often suffers during the earthquake and when subjected to much seismic movements. I wanted to explain it. Floating columns are mainly used to fulfill the architectural requirement, requirement of a structure. What does it mean? Let's go this picture. As you can see this column, as you can see this column, I mean as you can see this column, there is no structure to, uh, I mean, uh, if, for example, if I have a column here and I wanted to remove that column, as you can see, there is no column here, 
because of making a gate or entrance entrance of the building so for architectural requirement of a structure we need to design a floating block if i say another cone for example you have a plant view let's assume this side there are four columns or six columns the architectural engineer said that i don't need to put any column here because there is a gate from the key ground floor so you need to start this column in the first floor to the roof so what you need to do you need to design as a floating column by considering architectural requirements what are the disadvantages the main disadvantage is that as you can see this uh, column there is no structure to transfer the load uh, there is no the load in this floating column so it suffers earthquake as well as there are more torsion more bending moment as well as more shear stress so to design this what you need you need good structural engineer to do the project perfectly okay let's move on building modeling this is shit as you can see here there are two figure figure two and figure three figure two describes that plan view of building modeling figure three describes that the 3d view of building modeling this is she shape in eight story building with 24 by 24 meter in plan with column spaced at four meter from center to center a floor to floor height of three meter has been assumed okay this figure figure three describes column as specified id for all three cases as you can see there are circular uh, blue, uh, black color as well as there are circular red color uh, for circular red color it, it is floating condition so as you can see in figure a it is building has no floating color figure b c and d as removing all four columns in the second to third floor depends on what kind of case okay finally result and discussion there are so many tables there are so many tables as i have eight floor there are eight tables as you can see here there are uh, there are uh, different there are two there are three i mean there are two uh, changes one is blue and one is red that means two different for example if there are two different i mean if there is two different you will use red color and blue color if there is only one difference you will use one red color for table one differentiate between all three cases and truth as you can see the maximum column size is 400 by 600 and the minimum column size is 300 by 300 in table one in table two differentiate between all three cases at seventh floor the maximum column size is 400 by 500 and the minimum column size is 300 by 300 okay in table 3 the maximum column size is 400 by 650 and the minimum is 300 by 300 each sixth floor all minimum column size is 300 by 300 table 4 differentiate between all three cases at five floor the maximum is 400 by 700 and the minimum is 300 by 300 table 5 all fourth floor maximum 500 by 850 minimum 300 by 300 table 6 is it's case 3 you can see here 400 by 950 this is a maximum why because we remove a column in second in third floor whenever you remove a column then the column size will be much much increase in table 7 differentiate between all three cases at second floor the maximum column size is 500 by 500 and the minimum size is 300 by 300 uh, so you can see here 300 by 300 table 8 differentiate between all three cases as first floor we got maximum column size is 400 by 550 and the minimum column size is 300 by 300 in table 9 in this ground floor we have 500 by 600 and the minimum is 300 by 300 okay table 10 last table torsional application factor limit as per bmpc 2020 why we use torsion because 
series or valence shape is c-shape so we need to check torsional amplification factor because torsion means twisting if it's greater than three so uh, our building is not stable as you can see i made three cases maximum torsion is 2.3 is still less than three less than three or is less than three three so our building is stable okay conclusion after analyzing i found that the maximum column size is 400 by 950 in case three why because you must leave in case three we remove a column in that floor that's why we got maximum column size also i found the minimum column size 300 by 300 in first case in case one we assume that 300 by 300 after analyzing we found that uh, different column section by considering the load the minimum column size i found in c21 column id and the minimum column size is c2 c4 c6 d4 d6 33 maximum number of variation was found in that floor of this building finally it will be observed that the c2 c3 14 16 18 19 26 33 28 40 42 47 49 and 59 column is repeatedly the most of the cases so thank you for your time if you have any question you can ask me